Hey everyone, Dylan with the HD Perspective here. Oh, I just got a new toolbox. It's a Snap-on Epic 68 inch. Just finished moving all my tools over from the old one. I've had it for 10 years now, so it's been a good box, but yeah, it's time for an upgrade. Thought I'd do a little toolbox tour, see how I have it set up now. It's likely to change. As soon as I kind of figure things out. So yeah, look at this drawer. It's just friggin' massive. It's huge. Anyways, yeah, I kind of set it up so I got my chrome stuff over on this side on my half inch. Chrome sockets, got Matco crow's feet, you know, just a bit, bit driver kit, got these, these are kind of handy for taking out square plugs, and another like Matco, you know, some Torx bits and stuff like that. This is actually a tool for uh, installing and taking out studs, kind of wipes the stud. This is another one, so. I kind of got a couple screwdrivers and some picks and uh, stuff like that. You know, I use this one for a lot for taking off uh, boots on your air to air. Charge air cooler. Got uh, my 3 8 kind of chrome sockets and I got, you know, my ratchets. Uh, this Milwaukee ratchet. It was good. Two years I used it. It's pretty much done now but smells really bad when you use it still turns but and yeah i got uh you know just ratcheting screwdriver a few different extensions uh this is pretty cool it's from was it easy red uh basically a little quarter inch ratchet on that side you can even reverse it there and then uh you know you got your regular quarter inch uh bit drive there too and these heads, both of them will pivot and lock. You, you wouldn't think in heavy duty world you would uh, have a use for something like that too much, but you'd be surprised. Uh, I don't know. Got my uh, three quarter to one inch adapter. Nice little stubby ratcheting uh, um, screwdriver from Matco. Um, yeah, I got the snap-on, uh, 3 8 ratchet just to replace my Milwaukee one. Been pretty happy so far with it. I'll do a review, or, I'll have a video on it at some point. And I got my, uh, just my 3 8 snap-on ratchet, my kind of go-to. And then I got the half-inch version as well, with the long handle. Um... Yeah, I got uh, 3 8 12 point impact sockets and then my swivels too. They're just Mastercraft. The 12 points, they're uh, snap on. Snap on metric and then, yeah, my deep impact sockets. I know I'm missing a few. And I just got, uh, you know, all my uh, half inch sockets. And then up here, I got these from. Uh, Amazon, teched in their uh, 12 point metrics. Haven't used them too much yet, but a little bit. Seem to be pretty good. I'm happy so far. Uh, yeah, just some more random uh, 3 8 short impact sockets and then an impact driver. And then I got kind of my, my bigger deep sockets on the side here. Half inch and three quarter. And then I got, uh, you know, these kits come in handy here, impact uh, Allen sockets. They work good for, you know, big drive lines, industrial size drive lines. And then, uh, yeah, I've got another kit here where it's like got all your e-torques and, uh, you know, impact torques. comes in handy. Um, yeah, what else? Well, I've got uh, 
you know, sensor removal tool. It's Tekton. Got it on Amazon. Got all my adapters. So I can kind of do any combination you want. Just this, their snap-on. And then these I got off the Mac truck, I believe. They're just for um, taps for threading. I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. Oh, just some scrapers and picks and stuff like that. Oh, here I've got all my, my wrenches. Kind of see. Yeah, I got these Nipex plier wrenches. They're awesome. They open up to, I think, three three inches and three eighths or something like that. But anyways, they're good for big dash 32 GIC fittings. Uh, you can't really break them loose with them if they've been there for a while, but uh, just for running them in and out, I mean, it's tough enough already. They work pretty slick. Plus, you can use them one-handed, which I kind of like. Uh, yeah, just some presser wrenches, and then I guess my bigger wrenches I got up to inch and a half. And then I got my stubbies, metric and standard. I don't know, I just have this random snap-on half-inch offset wrench that somebody gave me. And then, uh, you know, 30 mil seems to be a common size. This is kind of a handy tool, snipe with a magnet here, so you can, not that you'd want to snipe a stubby wrench, but good example anyways. And then 15, 16 stubby seems to always come in handy. And then yeah, I've got my uh, snap-on offset wrenches all the way down, three eighths to an inch and a quarter. And then my metrics. They're the Flank Drive Plus. I actually really like those wrenches. I really enjoy them. 7 8 to uh, 5 16 I guess. And then I've got uh, Mac wrenches too. Actually, I ended up finding those Mac wrenches, uh, you know, just kind of at a garage sale or something. So I, I picked them up before I had the Snap-on wrenches, but I actually really prefer the Snap-on wrenches. They're the old version of the knuckle savers. And then I've got my... You know, line wrenches and ratcheting wrenches, they're just uh, Mastercraft, I, they're made by Gear Wrench. Metric standard, and then I've got these old ratcheting wrenches that a guy gave me. They're craftsmen, I'm not sure, they're pretty old. What I love about this box is, just it's got these three full length drawers, it's just incredible. So I got kind of my pliers that I use all the time here. You know, so, uh, flush cuts, uh, wire strippers. Uh, these are really handy, wire crimpers. I like them, snap on. You know, just some uh, cutters for maybe doing trailer cord or something like that. Just some snap ring pliers and pinch off pliers. Yeah, a few uh, snap ring pliers. I think I said that. Uh, this blowgun kit I kind of like. It's got the bigger rubber tips. So there, and then it's also got the star on, which I kind of use all the time just for blowing stuff off. It just kind of reduces the the uh, airflow through it so it doesn't blow as hard. Different color zip ties for marking lines if you're taking them off. You know, angle die grinder, cut off wheel. Uh, this one. You know, you can go at an angle with it. But I don't know if it's actually worthwhile. I don't use it a whole lot, to be honest. Oh. There we go. Ah, yeah. Got a 3 8 uh, snap on torque wrench there. And then my half inch is there. And I've got a big, nice pipe in the back. Never know. Sometimes they're really stubborn. Don't tell anyone I snipe stuff. Yeah, I got my uh, three-quarter impact there. Uh, it's a snap-on MG1250, I think. And then I got an older Mac impact for my half-inch, and then Ingersoll Rand 3.8, even though it says Mac on the boot. It's a 
same as the Mac one was. Just got a angle drill Princess Auto special. You know, for the odd time I need it, it works. Air hammer, three eighths air drill, half inch drill, snap on. Um, oh, and this guy here, I've done a review video on it. I'll leave a link in the description for that. That comes in handy. Would be nice to have just a little more jam to it, but eh. I've kind of wanted something like that since I first started, and when they came out with one, I just kind of had to pick one up. Uh, these PWZ players, I, I do like them for some things, but you kind of got to use them two-handed, so if you're climbing up around on a piece of equipment, it can be kind of tricky, because the you, when you open the jaw up, and then this piece kind of just slides down, and I don't know, it can be a bit of a gong show. So I got, you know, the biggest one and then the next size down. Uh, just my pry bars. Uh, these are like the Mayhew Dominator pry bars, and they're awesome. Had them for 10 years, I think, at least. They really take a beating. I kind of bent the middle one, but the, the bigger one has been awesome. And then I've got the, the Mac pry bar, the big, the big sucker. And then, yeah, these guys, alignment bars, and then with the little crow's foot on the end, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, dead blow hammer, soft face, and then, yeah, this is kind of my go-to hammer. It's nice because it's, it's a Stanley. Got it at Walmart, but it's heavy, and it's, it's small, so it fits in tight areas, which is good for me. And then my bigger hammer, I guess. I guess that does it for this one. So this drawer kind of got a lot of, uh, you know, punches, files, <coughs> some special tools I made for <coughs> putting studs in on our frack pumps, I guess. Uh, this is good for pushing in S-cam bushings, some air hammer ends, bearing splitter, you know, trouble light, uh, bolt extractor, a few odds and ends, C-clamp. Yeah, quick clamp level. Uh, I got a veneer caliper here, tape measure. Oh, yeah, disc brakes. You know, you always, on the Bendix ones, anyways, you always end up breaking those little adjustment screws. So <laughs> I always save them if, uh, if they're still good. You know, solder, electrical tape, hacksaw. Uh, I just got, you know, a reamer here and got some uh, just drill bits, I guess, here. Just kind of a cheap set. They're not worth the money at all. Hardly, hardly do anything. Uh, roll pin punches. Uh, I've got some other air hammer ends here. Long ones, different sizes. Good for, you know, whatever you need it for. Getting in tight spots. So this one is kind of the drawer that I just made up that I didn't know where else to put these things, so I got kind of the rest of my pliers that I don't use as often. You know, I got a few more pinch-off pliers if I need them. Uh, oh yeah, all my vice grips, stuff like that. You know, I just got some Allen keys and uh, filter pliers, filter wrench, air, angle grinder. You know, I bought these thinking I'd, they'd come really come in really handy at one point but I hate them they always slip and then if you got it on a bigger size you pitch your hand between the handles brutal yeah filter strap yeah some odds and ends now uh, this is handy for taking off uh, hose clamps on the uh, rad hoses I guess you know slack adjuster tools that kind of stuff So here I kind of got my bigger stuff, three quarter drive, pickle fork, pipe wrench that's kind of been replaced by my PWZ players. Got a few different uh, glad hands and things for testing air system, just different fittings, you know, for isolating between the compressor and the rest of the system. We got a, you know, eight pound sledgehammer. And my gloves, some welding gloves, mechanics gloves, and then these impact gloves. Kind of like them. 
say it's pinching your fingers. I don't know, seal puller, I guess. Speed handle that never gets used. Oh, I got a fifth wheel puller here. As well. Ah, down here. It's kind of my uh, drawer where I put all my kits. You know, I've got a Mighty Vac, well it's Mac Tools rebranded, but uh, vacuum filler. Works pretty good. Uh, snap on re threading kit, and then below it I've got my cap and die set. Just Mastercraft, it works good. Um, yeah, engraving tool, pull. No, steering wheel puller below that, some grease and quite clean. Uh, oh yeah, just like a PTO cover for your Eaton transmission, and then I think on the other side I've got the top plate too for uh, if you're pulling the transmission out, pulling the the uh, shift lever off. Uh, down there I got my ball joint and U joint kit and then dial indicator in that kit. Uh, oh, I got this automatic, or I guess it's not automatic, but uh, air-powered grease gun. Works pretty good, OTC. Uh, oh, and uh, you've probably seen this in another video, just my uh, brake bleeder. Use it for all kinds of things. What else I got? Oh, just some spare kind of parts that I've been hoarding for a long time that probably never used. Um, some extra safety glasses, bushing driver kit down below. Oh, I got a snap, in, snap on one too. Yeah. Got this guy here uh, for setting up um, injectors on uh, cat engines. C15, I guess. Don't really do too much at anymore. Uh, most of them are, I don't know, there's still a few of them out there, I guess, but. Uh, this uh, sits over top of the injector and then you can see you can set your height because it's driven by the cam so Yeah, I just got a few little different products I like using, some air tool oil and I don't know, luber plate, thread sealer, bug spray. Got some snoop in here just for spraying for air leaks and you know Windex. What else? Well, I think that's it for this drawer. Yeah, so here I guess I just personal items. Got this writing surface, calculator, my time sheet, a few little things, flashlights. Down here I kind of made my electrical drawer, got a power probe 3, um, temp gun, got my uh, brake light tester, got a snap on amp clamp, got a Power probe multimeter. Actually, a good multimeter. It's mm, pretty inexpensive. Some P wire. Not a good mechanic if you don't know how to use some of that. I don't know, just some other electrical odds and ends, some wire and stuff, jumping, jump wires, and you know, my battery chargers. And last drawer. Yeah, I just got kind of my knee pads, face shield. With I got two lenses, one for clear and one dark for cutting with the torch. Hard hat, yeah, earmuffs. Got my kind of my paperwork. I got stuff for uh, well, my snap-on manual. You know, my rigging handbook. In case there's any question, I guess better be safe. Oh. Um, yeah, just my CVIP, my inspection manual, so it's kind of the Bible when it comes to uh, doing inspections. If you have any questions, you consult that. And then I just kind of got some other books with the information on Cummins and Caterpillar, and I don't know, probably some.
tool uh, catalogs too. I think Mac one snap on. I don't know what happened to my Mac one. Well, that does it for this uh, this video. Hope you like my toolbox tour. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll talk to you in the next video.